Here's the truth: your chance of passing the test decreases in 2020. Only 57% of test takers pass the PTCE. Why? They don't have formal pharmacy technician training. They don't know exactly what to study for. They do not know what resources to get or need. They do not have the proper guidance. They do not have money to enroll in a twenty thousand dollar tech program. But that's not the end of the problem. It actually gets worse. Before I continue, I need your attention, please. Turn off cell phones. Turn off Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. If you're an aspiring pharmacy technician and you're serious about passing the pharmacy technician certification exam, the next ten to fifteen minutes will change your life. Here's the real problem you're facing. The rules are changing come January first, twenty twenty. This came from the PTCB website. PTCB to change CPHT program eligibility requirements and update exam in twenty twenty. A lot of things will be changing by twenty twenty. The test blueprint is changing to about sixty five percent drugs and clinical application and twenty percent math. So more test takers are expected to fail the test. Here's from the PTCB website. Medications will be forty percent. Patient safety and quality assurance will be twenty six point twenty five percent. And worst of all, you will not be allowed to take the test without having gone to an ASHP or ABHS accredited program. My promise to you, I'll show you exactly how to become a certified pharmacy technician without having the test anxiety or being overwhelmed by too much information or study materials. If you stay until the end, I will give you. The top 200 drugs made ridiculously easy to memorize ebook and an access to off-the-record tips on how to pass the PTCE. Hi, my name is Lorraine Loner, and by now you're probably asking who I am and how can I make these claims. Here's why I can make these promises to you. I have been a pharmacist for over 20 years and have taught thousands of students nationwide and worldwide for over 10 years as a professor. I have a record of 100% student pass rate on the PTCE. Here's the official record of 100% pass rate from the PTCB. My students are scoring high in each of the major categories in each of the nine knowledge domains. I run pharmacy classes every single day in a university, a state college, and a private medical school. I have developed a mobile app that helps lots of pharmacy technician students pass their national certification. I have developed curricula for pharmacy technicians for a college, a private medical school, and the Nevada Department of Education for Magnet and Technical High Schools that landed me a spot on the Vegas Top 100 Women. Here are a couple of my students. On the left is Brittany. Melissa on the right became best friends with Brittany. They passed the PTCE right after externship. Elise doesn't have schizophrenia. She heard my voice in her head while taking the exam. Alyssa messaged me not too long ago, telling me how I changed her life. It's nice to be remembered by students like that. Students were grateful. Angie studied pharmacy technician program with me and went back to Minnesota and passed her test four years later. Despite that, she remembered a lot of things from class, even taking it four years later. Hey, Min. Focused on studying from the packets, the notes, and the handouts, not necessarily from the review book that she has. And she still passed the test. So I will teach you in the next couple of minutes how to pass the pharmacy technician certification exam without stress. What we'll cover in the next couple of minutes: secret number one. You can remember all the two hundred drugs by grouping them based on their use, the organ or system they affect, their prefixes, roots, or suffixes. Secret number two: you can solve math problems without memorizing a single formula. Secret number three: the nine major topics in the PTCE blueprint overlap and can be divided into four major ones. Secret number one: you can remember all the two hundred drugs by grouping them based on their use, the organ or system they affect, their prefixes, roots, or suffixes. How to remember the top two hundred drugs easily? Secret number one: most aspiring pharmacy technicians think it is really difficult to remember all the drugs, so they say just memorize whatever you can. Actually, you can remember all the 200 drugs by grouping them based on their use, the organ or system they affect, their prefixes, roots, or suffixes. What do I mean by that? Here's an example: Afil. If a generic name ends in Afil, like Sildenafil, Tadalafil, Verdanafil, 
these drugs fall under the category PDE inhibitor or phosphodiesterase inhibitor. And we teach that phosphodiesterase inhibitors are drugs that are used for erectile dysfunction. So when you see a generic name that ends in aphyl, like tadalafil and sildenafil, they are PDE inhibitors and they're used for ED. Another one is your ASONE. Examples would be your fluticasone, mometasone. Those that ends in asone are corticosteroids or steroids. So that's another suffix or an ending that's common to some drug names. And if you see that, you know that the drug class is going to be corticosteroid, which is used as anti-inflammatory. And then your betal, your phenobarbital, secobarbital, are barbiturates used as sedatives. Your cane, like cocaine, is an anesthetic. Another anesthetic would be your lidocaine, which is a local anesthetic. So generic names that end in cane are anesthetics. And here's more. Let's look at the olol, second row. Atenolol, metoprolol, natolol, pindolol, propranolol, timolol. Olols are grouped as beta blockers, and beta blockers are for hypertension. So when you see olol as an ending for generic names of drugs, you can tell right away that it's used for hypertension. Another one would be your statin, atorvastatin, lovastatin, simvastatin. These statins are used to lower elevated cholesterol levels. So these drugs are classified as antihyperlipidemics or HMG coenzyme A reductase inhibitor. Your statins are used to lower elevated cholesterol levels. I hope you're learning something here. Secret number two, we can solve math problems without memorizing a single formula. How to solve math problems. Most aspiring pharmacy technicians think it is really difficult to remember formulas and solve word problems. Actually, you can solve most math problems using ratio and proportion. What do I mean by that? When I was in pharmacy school, one of my professors told me, that any problem in pharmacy can be solved using ratio and proportion. More than 20 years later, I still haven't proven her wrong. Here's an example. A prescription calls for 25 milligrams diphenhydramine, which is the generic of Benadryl. However, the Benadryl that's available is in liquid form, and it comes in 12.5 milligrams per 5 ml. Without knowing any formula, and by setting it up ratio and proportion, you set it up as 12.5 milligrams over 5 ml, equals 25 milligrams over x ml. Now you cross multiply 25 milligrams by 5 ml divided by 12.5 milligrams. It should give you the answer 10 ml, which means you have to give the patient 10 milliliters of diphenhydramine or Benadryl to satisfy the prescription 25 milligrams diphenhydramine. Secret number three, the nine major topics in the PTCE blueprint overlap and can be divided into only four major ones. The four major topics you need to study to pass the PTCE, secret number three. Yes, there are nine major topics in the PTCE blueprint right now, 2019, before the changes happen. But the nine major topics in the PTCE blueprint overlap and can be divided into four major topics. What do I mean by that? If you only master these four major topics, the top 200 drugs, pharmacy math, laws and regulations, compounding, which includes sterile and non-sterile compounding, you are guaranteed to pass the PTCE. The top 200 drugs, of course, are under pharmacology, which it's not just memorizing the brand, the generic, the therapeutic class. You have to know what each drug is for. And there is a way to make it easier to remember all of these drugs, what they are for. Let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying the web class so far? We've covered secret number one. You can remember all the 200 drugs by grouping them based on their use, the organ or system they affect, your prefixes, roots, or suffixes. Secret number two. You can solve math problems without memorizing a single formula. Secret number three. The nine major topics in the PTCE blueprint this year, 2019, overlap and can be divided into four major ones. So, are you ready to take things to the next level?